Jax. Come say hi to everybody. Get over here. Come here. family runs like that. <laughs> All right. Ah, it is a really good thing we got that heat done. Just in the nick of time. It is freezing today. Timestamp. All right, here's the deal. Spent a lot of time in the last week Finishing the garage, throw some pictures up in there. Got better storage. Benefiting from the removal of 20 years of accumulation that we dumped into the dumpster back in May. Picture of that in here somewhere. And now the garage is beautiful. Plenty of room to, I don't know, accumulate stuff for another 20 years, I guess. So, here's what we got for you today. Besides an adorable dog. We're gonna hop into the last of the homeowner repair projects. Just a couple of things. We'll go back about a week and a half, cover a few of those things. Then we're switching into wood shop. It's time. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. All right, you, you wanna chase some more? Or are you all set? Oh, I got a dog. Oh, I got a dog you are. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? This might be the last front yard shot, probably will be, at least till spring, maybe ever. The outside is done. They have uh, paved the front driveway where it worked today. So essentially, that's the last step. Our house is done. I don't think it's been inspected yet, but they wouldn't tell me if it was. They'll only tell me if it didn't pass. So I think we're done with the contractors and hey, Jax and the work so on to my own tasks now Whew. tell you what it's a lot right jacks <laughs> doofus <laughs>
Hey everyone, welcome to the wood shop. This is a view we're going to be uh, using a lot in the coming months. I've set up a table over on an area that's going to get little changed and I have this initially hung camera demonstrating the table because I want to show you guys some designs. <clears throat> Pardon the echo and the bad sound and most importantly, paro Pardon the bad light. That's the first step in what I've been working on is how to rewire the shop in a way that uh, makes sense. Uh, so let me start by showing you a little bit about what we got and we'll switch to this camera so you guys can see. So this is my initial one square equals six inches design. We are here. This is the lighting diagram. I've been calculating how many lumens per square foot I need. I'm gonna go with 70 to 100. And this area here is gonna be partitioned off as a storage room with walls and door. And that's gonna be on the main switch that currently powers the basement. The rest of this is gonna get its own circuit and uh, it's gonna get LEDs all on one switch. This will be where the electric supply for the wood shop eventually goes. This is where I'm going to be framing in the walls in order to create a dust free room for resin pouring, as well as a dust free area for storage where you access with the basement stairs. This is the dust free room design, which is a work in progress. It's going to need power and mostly airtight uh, door and wall set framing, a compressed air feed, lighting, and blank. This is the current design of my panel. It shows where I have open breakers, where my current lighting system is powered off of. Uh, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. So I've been working on my uh, electrical capacity. And I would like to thank Katz Moses Tools for this free wood shop design system. Uh, I haven't watched too many of his videos because he's a bit farther along than I am, but I stumbled across this and this is going to be very helpful. And so what I'm going to do next is set this up this is one half inch equals one foot. And with the designs of the shop already, I'm gonna take my current tool location idea, and I'm gonna transfer it onto this, which I will video.
laid out. I mean, rough template. Uh, these are suggested spacings based on generic tools. What I have to do is measure, for example, my weight and figure out how much space do I actually need. Uh, what dust collector am I going to put in this corner? Um, my air compressor may not need that much space. This is the area I'm going to have to really work on once I get there. I don't have room for an outfeed table and a workbench and um, space for my table saw. So I'm probably going to combine that in some capacity and use my outfeed table as my workbench. My bandsaw is mobile. Uh, I can make my router table mobile. Uh, and I feel like there's probably a lot more space in here than what this demonstrates. And I have a lot more tools than this. I actually have two routers. Sorry. I actually have two ways. Uh, and I hope to have two sharpening stations at some point. But this helps me figure out where I want most of my lighting. It's going to definitely help me figure out where I want to put my electrical. So there you go. Thank you, Katz Moses, for this cool design. It's going to be helpful. All right. So I've done some work on the lighting I want to get. And uh, based on the square footage and the lumens per square foot and the total amount I need for this space based on some suggestions I've gotten off other people's workshop uh, design plans, um, I think I have a good plan for this area. So this is the storage area. I'll show you on here if you guys want to jump in here with me. This is the storage area. It's going to have a wall here. It's 149 square feet. If I were to go 70 lumens per square foot, which seems to be the bottom end of the uh, lighting, I'll need just over 10,000. If I go 100 lumens per square foot, I'll need about 14,950. So what I've decided to do is I can put in three 48 inch strip LED lights and they're adjustable. So I can adjust both the um, coloring, uh, the K as it were, and the lumens based on the watt selection I choose. So if I get them and that's too bright, I can knock one out and I can change the settings on these two and uh, try to compensate for getting just the right amount of space. I guess technically I can also take, knock these three back. So I'll have plenty of choices. I can. The light already in this area off of this circuit here is um, already running more watts than these three combined. So I'm going to stay under my amperage pretty easily. Uh, I have the math written around here somewhere. There it is. I'm currently running 340 watts or 2.8 amps off of this system. And these new lights are maximum. Forty-five watts each, so I'll be at 135 watts, uh, much less. And then if I have to, I can make some other changes to that circuit, but I should be more than fine. So that's the plan. Ultimately, that'll give me about 96 lumens per square foot. And as I said, if that's too bright, I'll knock it back. I'd like to try to get the lighting for these as well today, although I'm not ready yet. There's a nice 20% off sale. And it seems hard to pass that up, especially since I get free shipping. So I'm probably going to work on these right now and see if I can come up with um, a plan for these. All right. I think I got this figured out. I'll come down here with me. Okay. I need these. Main part of the basement, tools around the sides. I have, a, I have a waste stack here, along with a water heater here, and uh, a lot of mechanicals in the roof. So I'm not gonna be able to put a light up there pretty easy, very easily. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come uh, a light center here against the far wall. This will be wave, dust collection, band saw, scroll saw, things like that. Then um, another light here, which is over this door accessing from this room. These are all gonna be flush mount up in the, uh, the uh, joist. And then I'm gonna have uh, two more here. And then I believe, if you can see this, I'm gonna have pretty large space here and I'm gonna estimate five lights here. This on pure lumens is too much light, but 
I also have this area over here and a garage that needs lights. So my thinking is I'll buy all of these and then as I install them, if I have dark spots or if I need space, I can again, I can make adjustments based on the amps I want to draw, the watts I want to draw, and I can increase and decrease my output uh, staying at 5,000K. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lights. This I still have to solve down the road. This I think I'm okay with. If that's too much light, some of these are going to go to um, the garage. The nice thing about these lights I picked out, this adjustment is going to give me the flexibility to play with it. Uh, also, the installation is really simple. All right, I'm going to go order some lights. Excellent. Questions, comments? Leave them for me. Thank you. You will.